Welcome back to another episode of Sip the Talent Presents. And today we're going to get into the projected depth chart. And this, this is simply who I think is going to be you know, on the depth chart uh, offensively. Uh, tomorrow, maybe the next day, we'll get into the defensive side of it. But I'm just going to type it in and you know, we can discuss in the, in the comments below you know, who you think is going to be where. But this is my projection or who I think is going to be in the depth chart offensively. So quarterback-wise. Obviously, have this guy. He's our QB one. He's our QB one. So the quarterback, the quarterback thing is gonna be real simple. Uh, Lamar Jackson's QB one. Uh, RG three. One, two, three. RG three would be two, and uh, McSorley, the rookie, would be three. All right, moving on to the running back spot. Obviously, we know we have um, we picked up Mark Ingram, and I'm sure uh, Gus Edwards is going to be his uh, backup. Here, where here's where it begins to get a little tricky. I personally think uh, Dixon is going to be in front of Hill when we first get to camp. Then Hill, which is our rookie, and um, we got two other guys. That are there. And honestly, let me do this. I think Turner's gonna be be there before heal. Then heal. But eventually, I think heal will move up to number three because I think Dixon is gonna be let go. I really do. I really think Dixon is gonna be let go. Then they're gonna bump heal to uh, number three based off the fact that we drafted him and um, Delance was a uh, undrafted free agent. And Delance may get cut also. But right now, you know what? Let's go ahead and do it like this. We're gonna predict season. For the season, we're gonna predict for the season. So let's do it like this. Cause Dixon's gonna be gone, and then Turner be our um, our practice squad guy. All right, move on to wide receiver one. Now wide receiver one and wide receiver two are gonna be outside receivers. So we lined up in like traditional old school football with two two running backs and a tight end. These will be the two outside receivers that's out there. So those are those positions. Wide receiver three, you see, I have it marked slot. So that's kind of, kind of where that comes in there. But starting off with us for wide receiver one, I think starting off the year is going to be this guy. Start the year off. And his backup is going to be um, Jordan Lashley. I think Lashley has a, has a good enough camp to make the team and, and, and contribute in some kind of way. Be a rotational guy. All right. Uh, wide receiver two. Then we're going to start off here. Hollywood Brown. I put Holly Brown, so let me correct that. Hollywood Brown. All right, backing him up, I think it's going to be um, Scott. I really do. I really think he's going to come in and, 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 make, and make, a, make a difference. Now, and I, the reason I say that is because they have a year in the system. And they kind of know what what the Ravens coaches expect. So beginning of, beginning of the year, Scott and Lashley will have the advantage on any undrafted free agent guys we bring in. I think um, Quincy's going to be cut, um, and then we got our, our three guys. I think Miles will be behind Scott. And Jalen Smith. Now, I, I, I had this before I found out about the, um, the kid from Texas Tech, but I do have a spot I'm going to put him in, and, and we'll see just in a second. So, going, just wide receiver one, I think Seth Roberts is going to be our, our number one to start off with. Then I think it's going to be Lashley with Jalen Smith competing for the number two spot. And then for wide receiver number two, I think it's going to be Hollywood Brown, it's going to be Scott, and Boyd can compete for that, for that spot. Bump down the slot, um, Willie Sneed. I misspelled that one. All right, backing up Willis Need, Chris Moore. Chris Moore could obviously Chris Moore could fill in all these spots. He Chris Moore could be all over this place, really. He really could. He's he's that versatile. Chris Moore could be the outside guy because of his speed. 
or he kind of worked the slot, which he does anyway. So Chris Moore can be all over this place. There's no telling where Chris Moore going to end up on this on this depth chart. And the third slot, I, I think I will go with the – and his name slips me now, the kid from Texas a and I watched his highlights last night, and I was really impressed with, um, with this skill set. He's going to get in there, and like I said, we got a crowded wide receiver room. There's going to be some big-time competition. But the four that I know – like, I'm positive I'm going to be on the team. Uh, Seth Roberts, Hollywood Brown, Sneed, Chris Moore. Oh, a five. And Borkin. I think Borkin's going to make it because of, of where he was drafted at. I just bumped down to our tight ends. Obviously, we have three good tight ends. And, uh, you know, where you rank them, it depends on what you want them to do. We should, we should be a downhill type of running team with, you know, some, some play action pass to the tight end and deep. So, um... With that being said, I'm gonna go with with this guy's my number one tight end for coming into the season. Mark Andrews. I think Andrews is our, our, our best tight end to to block and catch the ball. I think he does both well, and you know well enough to be our starter. Secondly, I have uh, Hurst. Hurst is a, is a, is probably the best pass catcher of the group. Uh, he leaves a lot to be desired blocking, but as far as just catching the ball, Hurst is the guy. So I put him at number two. And then I think Boyle is number three guy. The number three guy. I think now I think Boyle is our best blocker. I think Boyle is our best blocker. And uh, you know, all three will be in the game at some time. So, and when we run those heavy sets, and you know, it's like having receivers out there. Because Boyle would be in the position to block, and then Hurst and Andrews would be like going out, you know, running routes or whatever off the play action. So even though you got three tight ends in the game, you still it's still like you got two, four receivers out there if you got one back. All right, now this is where it gets real, real tricky on our O-line. So obviously at left tackle, you know, we got a return left tackle from last year. Uh, we picked up the option on him. You know, I like him. He's a big guy. He's a, uh, he's a, he's a role grader when it comes to the run game. He, he can get better pass blocking. But uh, as far as running the ball, Stanley, Stanley's a good guy. Um, left goal, I'm just going to put the starters up here for O-line first. I think it starts off with Lewis. I think we're going to start off with Lewis. And, you know, I think uh, well, I'll get to that guy later. Uh, center. We, we return our center mostly from last year, even though he wasn't the greatest. You know, uh, I think he got more blame than he should have. And I put out a video on saying that, that, that um, you know, saying that point. But, you know, we're going to start off with Sakura, and hopefully he holds that spot down and we can figure out the rest of this. Right guard, we got to uh, probably – Potential Hall of Famer, definitely an All-Pro all the time. Uh, yonder, and at right tackle we have uh, Big O, Lando Brown Jr. All right, so the backup for these guys, and some of these, some of these names you know, some you don't. Um, for Orlando Brown, let's jump down to Orlando Brown. I got seen it uh, backing him up. Didn't, get, didn't play a lot last year. I think he got injured and ended up on the practice squad, but his name was mentioned in, in, in a bunch of different articles that I read and, and podcasts I listened to, so I put him at uh, the backup for Orlando Brown. Uh, the backup for Yonder. And keep in mind, when we get to the season, one person or maybe two people can probably back up all five of these guys. But for right now, I'm going to give everybody a, a separate backup. So nobody would play dual positions, and in, in, in this is what I'm doing right here. So behind Yonder, we got Hurst. Uh, backup center, Bozeman. I think Bozeman played center at Bama, I think. Played a little, played a little of this left guard last year too, toward the playoffs. Uh, him and Lewis <laughs> and Hurst. They <laughs> I'm just moving on. <laughs> backup for Lewis, I have uh, Ben Powers. This is where our rookie, rookie comes in right here. And I think he's going to take this spot by the end of the year. I think Ben Powers takes this left guard spot by the end of the year. And then backing up Stanley, we have, uh, I think it's Jermaine Illuminor. I may have mispronounced that. Illuminor, I think that's how you say it. Yeah, but if I'm wrong, don't charge it to my head, charge it to my heart. All right. And the reason I mispronounced it because we never see him on the field and didn't get a chance to see what he could do. 
So his name has not been pronounced enough for me to pick it up. But I think that's I think I may have said it right or close too. So those are your backups. And you have a couple more guys that are gonna be thrown in there somewhere that, you know, really don't really even deserve to be mentioned right now because they're not factors in our offense. Alright, so that's what we that's what I think the depth chart's gonna be. Uh, you know, if you disagree with me, make sure you put it in the comments. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you share it. And you can also subscribe and tell some people to subscribe to it. You know, tell a friend to tell a friend. Make sure you uh, check out the merch too. I got some Raven Roundup t shirts. I got some Afterly t shirts. I think you're going to love the caption on that. And I also got some, some different things in there based off some Sip the Tally shirts. And you guys, you know, I appreciate it if you purchase one of those shirts and post a picture of you wearing your shirt and just tag me in. Uh, until next time, guys, we, we do our defensive depth chart. This is Coach Evans, Sip the Tally. I'm out. This is Coach Evans from Sip the Tally Films. Make sure you go on over to teespring.com and get some of the merch we have lined up. Get your FTMF shirts, uh, stands for Film Then More Film, or Fruit Tomatoes and More Fruits. Then you can pop on over and get your athlete shirt for all those former athletes that mentally we still got it, physically we just don't have it anymore. Then you can look, check out the different products I have with the Ravens Roundup design on them. T-shirts, sweatshirts, uh, cell phone cases, all that good stuff. And again, this is Coach Evans, and I appreciate you. Salute. With the